make America great again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Toward the end of this Citizens for Trump rally, anti-Trump protesters showed up. Smash the system, smash the state. America was never great. Leftist scum, your day will come. Leftist scum, your day will come. This is Matt Heimbach, a leader in the white nationalist movement. We're nationalists. We have no time for leftist scum who wants to destroy our nation, destroy our people, hurt our law enforcement, and fight against our families. We sat down with him after this protest to understand how much pull his party has at the Republican convention. Do you guys have any delegates here? You would be surprised how many people who are delegates and are part of state delegations who support our message and may or may not be active supporters of our party. I'm not asking you to identify anyone, but can you give us a rough idea of how many delegates are supporting you? I'll be totally honest, it's only a few. I think the fact that we have a few voices that are inside the convention hall standing up with people like us shows how things are swinging. You know, the pendulum is moving in our direction. You see within the Republican Party, the idea of advocating for white, working class, and middle class family interests is on the rise. Have you guys had any delegates who have been outed and as a result purged? Well, Bill Johnson, uh, an attorney from California, is a friend of mine. Uh, Bill's a really great guy. Uh, he actually is the chairman of the American Freedom Party. Uh, and he was outed, of course, uh, for being a, a Trump delegate and a white nationalist. He's been a white nationalist for many, many years. And uh, because of that, he was uh, stripped of being a delegate. And of course, he was attacked. People were calling and threatening his business, threatening to kill his family and his children, uh, threatening to bomb his office, and all these horrible things. And that's why we feel we need to have a true nationalist party where we can have a pincer attack, where people will work within the Republican Party to be able to promote nationalist values. But at the same time, we're going to be fighting on the streets as open white nationalists to be able to say that we are the political alternative to Republicans and uh, to be able to win people's hearts and minds and their trusts. Have you been in touch with the Trump campaign? I've not been in touch with the Trump campaign. I want to be able to allow them to do what they're already doing. They're already winning, um, you know, and again, we're not endorsing Trump. Uh, we do like, again, the ideas that he's introducing, but he's not one of us. You must have some sort of backdoor contact there. I think that'd be one of those can either confirm nor deny. It almost seems like you don't want to admit that you're in contact with the Trump campaign because you know it's not good for the Trump campaign. We have our own campaigns to worry about. The people realize what the problem is and the people are looking for real solutions. And if the Republican establishment continues to stand in their way, they're going to go to a different party or they're just going to uh, crash the plane with no survivors, <laughs> essentially. <laughs>